Here's a quick review of the Rode. It's a small computer that replaces a USB stick to save your Century Cam video. You can purchase it at tryrode.com starting at $80 for 64 gigs. Included is the Rode unit itself, which is quite small, and a USB cable. It's really not much larger than a USB stick. If we pop it open, you'll see there's really a Raspberry Pi Zero inside and an SD card. Now, there's a similar project called Tesla USB that you can do yourself with a Raspberry Pi Zero and go through really extensive install instructions on GitHub to get this working. It hasn't been updated in a year and it's a lot of work. I can do this, but I've been just too lazy. So I really like this option to buy something. Everything's ready to go. It's plug and play. My biggest concern is the SD card that's included. This Gigastone is a cheap one that may not stand up to temperatures, and I'd like a lot more space than 64 gigs. We'll talk about that later at the end of the video. Installation is super simple. Open your console, and I'll pull out my old SanDisk wi wireless USB stick, which has worked great. And we'll plug in the Rode into the same USB hub. I've had no problems with this Anchor USB 3 hub, by the way. Check the links in the description for all the items I have plugged in here. So it's nice and small. We'll close up the console and everything hides away. Once it boots up, you should see your camera icon. Be sure to tap it to start dash cam recording. And last but not least, make sure you have Sentry Mode turned on in your settings or your phone app. Rody has a free iOS and Android app. When you open this up, it asks you to scan the barcode with your camera and does so instantly and immediately connects to the device. There's buttons along the bottom that correspond to each directory of video type and vertically you see each video recording. When you tap on one of these, you'll see the view of each of the cameras from that video playing simultaneously, and you can watch them. Now you have a speed choice at the bottom for half, 1x, and 2x, but unfortunately the Wi-Fi just can't handle the bandwidth of all of this, and so it chugs through. I hope this is something they improve and find a way to speed up. You can scroll through each of the videos, you can start, select favorites, and you can hit the trash icon to delete them. Press the save button to view videos you've saved while driving by tapping the camera icon. And recent views the temporary recent video directory. At the moment, there's not much in the settings screen. I would strongly suggest enabling the home Wi-Fi access so it connects to your home router and speeds things up a little bit. While watching any of the videos, you can tap on any camera to get a bigger view of it. And if you want, you can save videos to your phone, click the save button and choose which camera or all of them and it'll start downloading that video, I should say, very slowly. So I'll speed this up here. And you'll now see those videos in your camera roll at full resolution. And the nice thing about this is it's been transferred to your phone so you can scrub through them and go look at things quicker. So Rode has a really nice interface. It's really easy to install and use. Uh, one problem I've had after just one day of using it, the card's 90% uh, full. So clearly 64 is just not going to be big enough. I did clone the SD card so I can transfer things to a larger card. Check the description to see if, how that's gone or any other issues I've had. But so far I'm pretty happy with it. 